All right, y'all, sister, season five, episode 20. Let's get into this recap. All right, y'all, so we're going to pick up right where we left off, and that is with Sabrina finding Danny and Q together in Danny's house. And Sabrina is just, oh, my God, oh, my God, what is this? What is this? Girl, you doing a little too much. Tell her what it is. Get to the point. We ain't got time for that. So Danny is like, what's going on? Like, did y'all sleep together? What's tea? And Sabrina like, no, he sleeps with Maurice. Now, Danny is like, wait, whoa, 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 what? And then she like, he the one who robbed us at the bank. Now, she's telling Q, oh, no, you got to go, you got to go. Girl, he should have never been there in the first place. And Danny that made me mad because she more concerned about the fact that Q was sleeping with Maurice instead of him being the one who robbed your friend and had her in jail and facing 30 to life. Child, I don't get it. So Danny's saying that her hot girl summer is over. She not doing this no more. And she like, did he really sleep with Maurice? Did he really rob the bank? Girl, what Sabrina got to laugh out? So Sabrina like, girl, where did you meet him? How do you know him? And she telling Sabrina like he worked at the airport. And then she said that she think that Logan is the one who got cute the job. And Sabrina like, so you didn't think to put two and two together? And when you found out his name was Quincy, I mean, that dude start with Q. So she's telling Danny, like, you got to stop this. And Danny, like, well, this is punishment enough. And Q comes out the bathroom after them trying to get him out the bathroom for the last five minutes. And he's telling Danny, oh, I'm going to see you at work. Can I get breakfast first? Like, he is irritated. He do way too much. He needs to just be off the show because he serves us no purpose at this time at all. So Sabrina... It's like, what is going on? And then he like, I don't need a lecture from y'all. And please don't tell the girls about this. And Sabrina like, this is just like college. Why are you doing this? And then he said, because she is single. She not married. She not ready to be married. Life is too short. And she not ready for that life right now. So you got a whole nigga who willing to give you that so that you don't have to be single. So that you can be married. And you don't want that right now. So basically you want to be a hoe. And now she will just get Maurice out. Now you worried about Maurice. And Sabrina said that she going to tell the girls. And then he said that she don't need an intervention. That's not what she need right now. And Sabrina told her, you need more than that. And baby, I was right with Sabrina because child, you living your life completely wrong. So Sabrina had enough of Danny holding So she went home and Calvin came over and Sabrina was telling him that they got the money from Bio to go get Maurice. And Calvin did not seem the least bit excited about this information at all and she was like why do you look mad and he was like so are you gonna see him again and Sabrina was like I will so Calvin was like so he trying to buy you and Sabrina like no he just helping me out it's not that way don't be like that and Calvin like okay cool it seemed like that to me but when we gonna be able to see Maurice and I'm like Calvin get out your chest boy Maurice coming home make this what you wanted it don't matter how he getting out just know that he getting out it's okay that you ain't got 1.5 just laying around it's okay it's fine so then she ended up telling him that she's seen Q but she ain't want to go into detail and she like we need to do something about him child what y'all gonna do about him y'all already beat him down with a golf club you don't want the man dead so what y'all gonna do and then Maurice called and y'all know Maurice <laughs> is something else so they was telling him that he getting out bio getting the money and Maurice like okay well when I get home I'm getting a bubble bath and then my throat gonna be sore cause bio is getting this throat <laughs> Ain't no good child. But I mean, he ain't wrong. He is not wrong, baby. Spend 1.5 million on me and see what you get. <laughs> but anyway, Calvin is still in his chest and he said that he got to go back to work. She can call him when they go pick up Maurice because he's salty. And Sabrina just a little busy body, baby, because she making her rounds. Now she done went to Andy's office to see what's going on with the goings on with Maurice. And Andy like, you know Maurice finna get out. They post the bail. You can go get him. So she was like, okay, cool. You need to check on Danny because um, homegirl out here sleeping with Q. And I'm like, girl, okay, just rip the bad day off. So Andy like, okay, well, we need to go to her house when she get off work. And then Andy like, okay, this dude that gave you this money, like, why he give you that much money? And she like, well, I just asked him. 
And Andy was like, so he must really like you. Now, Sabrina gets offended because she like, Gary out here buying you condos and Rolls Royces. A man can't do that for me. And Andy was like, nah, that's not what I'm saying. He must just really like you and trust you to be out here giving you that type of money for somebody that he don't even know. Child, Andy, I'm going to need you to dig a little deeper because something going on with Bio and I want to know what's going on with the goings on because that nigga ain't no Prince Hakeem. Now, Andy goes to Robin's office to check on him before his big meeting, uh-huh. And he tell her that he got a call from the Long Shark and the Long Shark want more interest. And he just got one question for Andy. Are you working with Gary? Now, Gary called the Long Shark and told the Long Shark if he take the money back from Robin that he would give him more money. So now the dude want the money back. Now, Andy is in her feelings like, why would you ask me that? And he like, don't get upset, baby. It's just the question. And I'm like, why wouldn't he ask you that? Like, you don't do whatever Gary say. But anyway, she said that she just wanted to help him help her because if Robin leaves, she lose her chances of becoming a partner. So sis playing chess, not checkers. Robin would be more beneficial to her if he was at the law firm than him being gone. Okay, period. So she said that he don't know her very well. She would never do nothing like that. And Andy said that she is in an awkward position and she has been careful and cautious because Robin is her boss and she has slept with him. And she don't want him to tell her nothing else because she don't need him thinking that she got nothing to do with nothing. She said, whatever happens, happens. You on your own now, sir. And Robin was like, okay, I understand. Now, Fatima went to her office to check on her, and Andy was like, I'm good. How was your night? So Fatima was like, girl, I went home. Me and Zach had a come into Jesus conversation. Everything good in the hood. And Andy was telling her that Karen apologized, and baby, they was both shocked like, oh, she did. Now, Andy told Fatima that she got Zach child support papers, and she said that Zach is being really generous to Karen. Now, while they in there talking, they see the girl Tamara, the little gold digger, in there with Hayden and the secretary because she trying to get a job at the firm and y'all know Fatima like uh uh let me go squash this shit real quick now before we get into that we got to get into this meeting between Robin and the bitter sisters Gary and Hayden mm -hmm. so Gary and Hayden had met up at the law firm and they sitting there like you ready yeah I'm ready this me finna be good let's go right mm -hmm, bitches so they went to Robin's office and Robin like come on in sit down have a seat let's get to it what's going on so Gary took over the conversation and he was like you know my good sis Hayden got a client on board and the partners did a call and Robin like I know all that I already raised my money so Gary and his good sis Hayden got the partners to raise the percentage by 20% so Robin has to come up with an additional three million dollars and Robin was like mm, I see so they like are you prepared to do that today and Robin was like baby I don't have to do that today did you read the contract I got a reasonable time to come up with the money so they like okay well what's a reasonable time so Robin said 30 days would be reasonable and Gary said baby this is a simple matter you could take a majority share don't waste our time because we know you ain't got the three million and robin said that he had the money by five o'clock and i'm trying to figure out where we getting this three million from robin this, the first time was a struggle you can't go back to the same nigga because he want his money back already and he already raising the interest so you gonna get more money from this man or you gonna end up dead baby call madam at this point because where you getting this three million dollars i know that you had to save face and you want to be suave but baby robin oh my god you should have just stayed with the 30 days we could have did some in 30 days maybe five o'clock the end of business day three million boy pack up your office child i ain't got no hope for robin right now but we gonna pray for the best while expecting the worst now let's get back to fatima child she done went and called my baby daddy zach right because y'all know he coming to see her for lunch and whatever so she was updating him about his child support papers with karen and she was like yeah you might want to apologize to her so she can sign these papers so he was like what so she like yeah say sorry you was wrong you got to think about the future karen can make this really hard for you and he like so you want me to go over there and apologize to her what if somebody take another picture mm -hmm. and she was like I trust you. Girl, 
Where was that trust three days ago? Where was it then? Anyway, so Zach was like, look, okay, I think about it. And she was like, look, Cameron got you by the balls and you got money right now, but you ain't got that much money. It ain't as much money as you think it is. Meaning you're going to spend a lot more money and court fees and fighting this case than you would if y'all just come up with an amicable decision. Okay, now back to Tamara, because she is definitely not an application to become secretary. So Fatima was like, I think the fuck not. So she went in the break room to see her, and Shorty seen Fatima, and she got scared instantly. So she was like, Hayden trying to get me a job here. And Fatima like, you know you cannot work here. Like, you got to make up an excuse, because this not happening. So she was like, I know, I know. He's seeing Heather today. And Fatima like, well, you know what you got to do. And she said, yeah, Hayden is sprung. He didn't get her $200 for breakfast and she know what she got to do she got her i'm not convinced so fatima had walked out and the girl tamara said that she is filling out the application and she finna get all hate and money baby it's giving fatima finna end up back in jail it's giving that this girl tamara is finna be dead somewhere because you not only messing with fatima you also messing with madam sus you being too greasy get the money do your job and go on about your business why are you trying to work here you doing too much at this point now Oh, child. Mm hmm. Yeah. Last scene. My baby daddy at home looking like he looking, looking like good cooking, right? And it's a knock on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Mm hmm. So it's a dude and he looking for Fatima. Now, my baby daddy, like, uh uh, baby, who are you? And he, like, do Fatima live here? Nigga, who are you? So he gonna ask my baby daddy, no, who are you? Oh. But do you know who you talking to? So Zach, like, I'm the owner of this house. What you want? Who you looking for? What you looking for for team of four? So he like, oh, it don't matter. And Zach was like, no, it does matter. Who are you and what do you want? That boy said, I am Joey. And I'm for team of baby daddy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, bitch, I can't wait till next week for Tima. We on your ass, like white on rice, like flies on shit. You done did all this capping and doing all this with my baby daddy, but you ain't tell him that you had a baby daddy. What a baby had. What a baby. And I don't think that Fatima really got no baby out here living and breathing. She probably had an abortion or a miscarriage, whichever one, but you never mentioned no baby no baby daddy no none of that no pregnancy no nothing and you want to talk about my baby daddy oh you want to do this i can't wait until next week but anyway y'all that was that on that i will be back next week to do a recap to episode 21 which i think is also the season finale all tears so come back for that in the meantime between time watch the video to my other shows like comment subscribe let's have a conversation down in the comment section below also follow me on all my social medias they will be in the link description below and yeah it's your girl sitting here renee and i am out of here y'all peace